you guys see me driving this excavator? Howdy, cowboys and cowgirls. I'm Cowboy Jack, and I'm really excited. Today, we're at Brookside Equipment Sales in Spring, Texas. Do you see all these tractors and equipment that they have? Do you know what brand it is? It's John Deere, and they make a lot of really neat tractors and equipment. So we're gonna learn all about big machinery today. Come on, let's go check it out. Here we are in John Deere's Gator. This is a really nice utility equipment vehicle, so you can get around really fast. You gotta buckle in and be safe. So this is kind of like the door right here. See, now I'm not going anywhere. And whenever you're driving something, you always gotta buckle up. Got my seat belt right here. All right, now I'm gonna use the key to turn it on. Wow, that was really neat. And look, it's got all these cages. Well, I'm gonna put it in drive and we're gonna go take a look at it. You guys ready? All right. All right, we're at a good place to stop and take a look and learn all about the gator. There, I put it back in park and I'm gonna turn the engine off with the key. But before I do, come over here and take a look at all these gauges. So all these gauges tell you exactly what's going on. We're going zero miles per hour right now because we're not moving. And then you have the engine temperature. It's not very hot. And the fuel gauge. Uh-oh, looks like we're a little bit low, so we might need to get some gas. All right, I'm gonna take my seatbelt off so we can get a good look. Wow. All right, well, come over here and let's take a look. These right here, you see, it's got four black wheels. Here's one, two, and there's two on the other side, too. Right here, like I said, we're kind of low on gas, so we're gonna need to get some. But this is the gas cap, and that's how you fill it out. Fill it up. And this is really cool. It's just like a truck. It has a big bed on it. So if you were hauling something, you could put it in here, so you could put whatever you need in here and haul it wherever you need to go. If you look back here, this is the exhaust. Most of the equipment we see today is going to have this logo on it because it's made by John Deere. And this is that safety door that we talked about that buckles just like this. See? Now if you were riding in here, you'd be nice and safe. Wow! Come over here in front. This gator even has headlights on it. So that way you could see when you're driving at night. Oh, and it's got a place here where you could put a trailer hitch or maybe a winch. In case you got stuck, you could pull yourself out of a bad spot. That's really neat. And you can see it's got a lot of ground clearance. So this thing loves to go off-road, and it's even got four-wheel drive. That means you can take it anywhere. Wow. And it's got this big roof rack. That's so you don't get the sun in your eyes when you're driving but it also serves as a roll cage in case something bad did happen, you'd have a little bit of protection. Wow, this gator is so neat. I'm glad we got to take a look at it. Another thing that's really cool about the gator is, check this out. The bed actually lifts up. So if you were hauling something, you could dump it out real easy, just like this. Whoa! So see everything that's in your bed that you could dump out just like a dump truck does. But while we've got this open, we could take a sneak peek at something else. Look, there's the motor. That's a really big motor for this. So this thing can actually go pretty fast and it works really hard. So it's a great tool to have. I'm gonna go ahead and close this back up. That was a lot of fun. Wow, I love this gator, but let's go check out some other equipment too. This 
is a really big tractor. That was a whole lot of fun to drive. You see how tall it is? I mean, Cowboy Jack's a pretty tall guy. This thing is really big. Do you guys want to take a look at the inside? Come on. Wow, this is really cool in here. Do you hear that? There's music. Let me see if I can turn the music down. There we go. There's the radio. See? You can make the music go really loud or really quiet. And also, in this tractor, there's even air conditioning. Here's all the controls to make it go cold, hot, and this controls the fan and how fast the air is coming out. You've got all these vents all around, so when you're out doing tractor work, you don't get too hot or too cold, even in the wintertime. It's a lot of fun. Wow, that was really cool. And see, there's a whole lot of really confusing controls here. This, if we had a front loader or something kind, of, some kind of bucket on the front, this would pick it up and move it all around. These are the different speed buttons. So if you push A, you're not going very fast. That's kind of like how Cowboy Jack was driving. I like to drive slow. That's just my style. <laughs> but this controls the level of your hitch. And these control your hydraulic system because this whole tractor is controlled by hydraulics. And just like in a car, here you've got the steering wheel and the clutch, the brake, and the gas pedal. It's really neat up in here. Oh, and you know what else? Check this out. Look right here. You see what this is? This folds out just like this folds out just like that. And this is called the buddy seat. So if Cowboy Jack was out working, I could bring a buddy along with me and he could take a ride too. All right, well, now that we've seen the inside, let's go check out the outside. So the wheels on this tractor are a little bit bigger than what we saw on the Gator because it needs to get around a lot of rough terrain. And you could be using this like a farmer, so you might be driving just in a plowed field or you might be doing the plow. So these wheels are really big. You know what color this is? Yeah, that's black. But what color is the actual wheel part? It's really cool. That's a John Deere yellow. <laughs> See right here? This is where the motor is, it's right underneath here. And it's got all of the power that you need to drive this big contraption. And it's got this protection right here on the front, so that way if you need to push something, you don't mess up your headlights or anything like that. Look at that, look at that. This tractor even has a windshield wiper. Wow, so you don't have to stop even if it's raining. It's got all kinds of hydraulics, like I said. If you look right here, these are all the different hydraulic hoses because this machine has a lot of tools that you can add on to it and they're all controlled by hydraulics. And hydraulics are really neat because basically what it is is pressurized fluid you use to actually lift and drop things because if you want to lift something, you add pressure to that fluid and it raises it up. If you want to drop something, it lets the pressure out so whatever that tool is can drop back down. It's really cool. Here's the other door. The back tires are huge. Look how big this back tire is. I mean, I am not a short guy, but this tire is huge. <laughs> that is ginormous. And then on the back, we've got tail lights and there's even blinkers. If in case you need to drive it on the road, you can signal to the other drivers which way you're turning. And this is the hitch to attach different implements, and it's all run by hydraulics. See right here? This is a hydraulic cylinder, so this would get pumped full of hydraulic fluid so that it can raise up or lower down. That's really neat. Wow! And then you've even got a toolbox right here. I'd like to keep my lunch in there, but you can put anything you want. And it looks like this one doesn't run on gasoline, it runs on diesel fuel. You know it's diesel because the cap is green. And most gas stations, whenever you're trying to fill up, you make sure when you're using your car, you put gasoline in it. But with a tractor, you use the green pump, so you're putting diesel. That's really neat. So, we 
We've had a lot of fun checking out this machine. It was so big and so cool to drive. see me driving this excavator? It's really fun. I'm going to show you how I can move the tools on it. really cool. It's really neat to get to work an excavator like that. But as you can see up here in the excavator, there's all kinds of different switches and levers. And look, there's no wheels on an excavator. It runs on tracks. Those tracks are really neat. That means an excavator can go anywhere you need it to. And it's got this big bucket on it like I was operating. You work that by using these different levers and hydraulics to make it dig or push things however you want it to go. That's really fun. Wow, it was a good time driving it. And this thing even has air conditioning like the other equipment. Wow, I'm gonna come out. Woo. Oh, that's a big, big piece of machinery that was a whole lot of fun. So like we talked about, this is the big old bucket you use for digging. Take a look in here. So you can see the size of my hand versus the size of this bucket. You can dig a whole lot with this thing. And it's got this great big boom on it. And that's all controlled by hydraulics. And then it even has this blade on the front. You can raise that or lower it down. What do you think you would use this blade for? Well, you could use it to make the dirt real flat or to push it out of the way. It's really neat. See right here again, all these hydraulic hoses to control it. Wow. This piece of machinery is just so big. That's really cool. Oh look, it even has an exhaust pipe, just like the other tools. Uh-oh, it's got some really complicated designs here. These are drawings that show you how everything works and how to maintain it. That's really cool. Do you guys want to check out a skid steer? They've got a skid steer here that we can take a look at. Come on, let's go. Wow, I've never even been this close to a skid steer before. It looks really neat. Let's check it out. Wow, see it runs on tracks too, just like the excavator. Oh, hey, hey, 
How's it going? I'm Cowboy Jack. Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Nice to meet you. What are you doing here? I'm just finishing up some maintenance on this thing. Wow. So you actually work on these? I do. Man, that must be a lot of fun. It is. I bet it can be really challenging. Very. So how long have you been working on this kind of equipment? Ten years. Ten years? Wow, ten years. That's a really long time. That's really neat. I bet you love what you do. I do. Wouldn't Man. do anything else. That's really cool. So what are we looking at here? This is actually the engine compartment of this thing. Wow. And what does this thing do right here? That's a fan. It keeps the engine cool. Oh, so when you're out working and you're running this thing, it cools itself by a fan? Fan and a radiator. Oh, a radiator? Do you guys know what a radiator is? It has a lot of fluid running through it to suck heat off of a motor, right Kevin? Absolutely. That's a simple way of saying it. He could probably explain it in a lot more detail. But you guys don't care about radiators. Let's check out the rest of the motor. What is this thing right here? That's your antifreeze that goes through the radiator. Oh, okay. And then what's this guy? That's called the air cleaner. That's where fresh air gets sucked into the engine to burn off the diesel. Wow, so this runs on diesel too. Absolutely. That's really neat. What is this little yellow thing right here? I saw you touching it earlier. That's the oil dipstick. That's how you check the oil level in the engine. Wow. So you can use this and pull it out and make sure you've got lots of good oil in it. Absolutely. Wow, that's really cool. I'm really glad we got to meet our buddy Kevin here so we got to see all about this engine. That's really neat. And he's got such a cool job. That's really fun. Hey, thanks for giving us some time. Absolutely. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. All right. It's all yours. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Wow, he was really nice. That was fun. Hey, they said I could operate the skid steer so we can play with the bucket a little bit. So if you guys stand out here, I'm going to climb in. This one's a little different. Do you see a door on the side? No, there's no doors on the side. The door's right in the front. So I've actually got to step in the bucket and climb in. It's kind of like sitting down to a little secret spot. I'm going to go ahead and start it up, but I have to close the door first. I was able to lift up the bucket and put it back down and then raise it really really high and bring it all the way back to the ground all done by hydraulics again here's some of those cylinders right here this one was really neat and this one even has air conditioning too thank goodness because we're here in the Texas heat
guys. This little tractor is really neat. So it's got a lot of attachments on it. I, you saw me just operate the front bucket, but you know what? This thing actually has two different seats. Let me show you. So see, I was sitting in this seat right here, but I can lift this up, get that out of the way. Now I'm gonna pull down this seat right here. See, this seat is where you would sit to operate this. So I'm gonna go ahead and crank it back up and show you how that works. Whoop, I forgot I gotta go around this side. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the counterbalances down. That keep it, keeps it steady while you're working with the digger. So it's these two levers right here, take a look. And see, when I pull these, it's gonna move these down. See, now we're nice and stable, and it let out my step right here. So these levers work a lot like a joystick for a video game. But if you step back, it's not a video game. We're going to show you how to dig it. That's a lot of fun, so if you needed to dig something, you would just get off of that other seat that we switched down and jump on this one. You could do all the digging you wanted. That was so fun. All right, well, I'm gonna lift these counterbalances back up. See, now the tractor's sitting back on its tires again. And so I'm gonna flip this seat up, put it back, and now we can drive again. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. We've seen everything there is, it's so neat. That was a lot of fun. And again, what color is it? Yeah, it's green, John Deere green. How cool is that? So John Deere doesn't just make really big equipment like we've been looking at. They make a lot of equipment that you might be familiar with at home. Look right here, there's two different types of lawn mowers. So this right here is what they call a zero turn mower. The reason they call that call it that is because it has these two levers. And so you can actually turn on a dime by using those levers. It's really neat. And it can go really fast too. And then you might have one of these at home or you might have seen somebody using it. This is just a classic ride-on lawnmower. See, this is the lawnmower blade, and if you were going through the grass right now, it'd be spitting out all that grass right here. Wow, this thing is so nice and clean and pretty. I bet it would make cutting the grass really fun. <laughs> Alright guys, wow we've had a lot of fun today and we've learned a lot about tractors and equipment here at Brookside Equipment Sales in Spring, Texas. It's been so much fun and I'm really glad that they agreed to let us come out and take a look around. That was really nice of them. So if you live in the area and you happen to need a tractor, now you know where to go. Come see the great folks at Brookside Equipment Sales right here in Spring. So anyways, I had a lot of laughs, we had a good time, I got to even drive a lot of big machinery. So if you had a good time with me today, go ahead and subscribe to Cowboy Jack on YouTube. And until next time, yeah!